So I am so excited to share my finished accordion sketchbook with you. So I finished this um, mostly following a workshop with Liz Steele. It's my first workshop I've done with her and I'm definitely going to invest in some more because um, her style is very much aligned with mine and um, her process as well. So I learned a lot, which is great because when you spend <laughs> a lot of time on Instagram and YouTube and Pinterest and you know you think you've seen kind of it all but she really breaks it down in a way that um, really pushes you to think more so anyways um, I chose a Hanamule accordion um, they call this the zigzag sketchbook and I knew I wanted to work in an accordion which essentially just means that it's one continuous page folded up I will um, note a couple things that I found out that I I don't love about I, I do like, I like this maker, I like the paper, I, I do like the whole thing, I wouldn't, I'm not saying I wouldn't use it again, but I'll show you a version that I prefer and why. Um, and then I'll also note that Liz puts, um, as well, you know, a lot of artists do, she puts the date range on the front. Um, she may have a numbering system too, but I think she also puts them on the spine. Um, I don't have a numbering system because I usually work in so many art journals at once that it just gets too confusing for me. So I don't have a very sy systematic process, but um, I am trying to better define what I work in when. So anyways, this I worked in from January to February of 2021. I'm just going to kind of walk through it and note some of the... Um, themes that I tried to stick with and what I learned in her course. Okay, so I started here. We actually had um, COVID, my husband and I. And so here is this little thing about that. The whole, this theme of this notebook, and you'll see throughout, I used lyrics from the song Changes by David Bowie. And what I was trying to capture is things in our lives that signify some change, which is basically like everything right now. And part of it is because I want to remind myself that even though we're in this very, um, you know, odd period where we're, we're not leaving the house and things like that, um, that there are still changes happening every day. So, um, so this was me capturing my son's little bottle, uh, sippy cup, because he's not using a bottle anymore. So that was that. This is capturing my son's first birthday, cupcake. Um, these swim trunks are because my older son is learning to swim right now. Here's my blue light glasses, which I was capturing the fact that um, I invested all this money to get LASIK eye surgery a few years ago, and now I'm wearing glasses again. Not because I need to, because I choose to. Um, here's my filter coffee maker that I um, am trying to, um, you know, experiment with different types of coffee. I just was doing some swatches and talking about um, being an instructor in this in this course coming up. And then I did a lot of lettering here and then just had my little fountain pen. And then in the back, here is Amanda Gorman and her amazing um, inauguration poem. Here's some work from home reminders. My favorite, favorite Brody pen that I try to use for everything. My fur baby, Collie Dillon. Um, my first attempt at trying to sketch people did not go great, but that's okay. I'm going to keep, keep at it. This is my son and my husband on the couch watching a movie. Um, I started doing some collage here, which I did like. A um, little tea bag with my teacup. And then I did a flip out, which I like, and I'm going to definitely do more of. This is um, a sketch of some tacos we had and collage from the menu. And then collage when I was walking around a park with my kids. And then finally, on the back end, another attempt at a portrait, which I don't love, but I don't hate. Um, everything was extremely out of proportion and all this, and I just kind of went with it. So 
A couple things I learned. First of all, her class was a, a focused on layouts. This, I would say the accordion style is not the best format for really pushing her lessons in here, but I definitely did continue to really think about, you know, the, the layout ideas that she was teaching. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to continue to do that in another format of book, but I do, um, I did think a lot about how my I wanted the style to be sort of consistent throughout and so the re the ways that I did that and I didn't do it perfectly but I essentially tried to have a watercolor illustration in each item that was done first in pencil and then over in um, a I use the um, platinum desk pen I, I just like how super super thin it is and of course that the um, that the ink doesn't bleed. So I was using that. And then I was using this um, Fude Pilot, uh, Sailor Nib with a Robert Oster um, purple ink. So that's basically the two inks that I used and I didn't add any more other ink colors. Um, so I used the black for writing, I used the purple for titles and for the borders around. And then um, finally, the pencil lettering, um, it's meant to sort of tie the whole book together and to fill in some spaces. It's more successful in some places than others. Like for instance, this I think is done really well. I like that. Um, I like it. I liked it here. Um, it just sort of filled that space in for me. And then yeah, I mean, I really do like the idea of adding the pencils throughout. I, I think it um, it's nice and it doesn't, it's sort of a background element um, that, again, ties it together and is really important, I think, for the accordion to sort of have that piece um, throughout. Um, so that said, I really, this is the first accordion that I've filled. I think the size was great. I think the... Um, the paper's good. I would really recommend this. I think it comes in a smaller size, one size smaller. And I'm definitely going to keep up with this because I like the idea of having that. So let me show you one other thing um, that now I'm working on and why I like it better. This is a little Moleskine uh, accordion journal. And I don't, I, I don't, love moleskins. I've used them before for um, bullet journaling and um, a long time ago for other things. I got away from them because I prefer wet media and fountain pens and I just don't find them to be super fountain pen friendly. I know some people do love them. Um, but I decided to try it and now I've discovered that this style of accordion is much more preferable for me. Um, so I'm not going to do a full flip through this. I will when it's done. I'm, I'm only a few days into it and I've already filled so much because I'm just loving it so much. But I'll tell you the big difference. So I do think that this is smartly made in that they have these two pieces that are not perfectly aligned because then when you open it, they actually kind of fit together on the back and you can hold it out like a book, which is nice. But what I don't well, what I'll say is I love about this and just I'm okay about on this is that because this is not attached in the back, you can pull this out and do a, it, it just for me is easier to work on. But secondly, because this is not attached on the back, I've been ripping pages out. So I, I ripped one already and I used it for a little tip in here and then for instance, I can rip out another page in the back and make it like a flip up here. I know not, you know, most people are not interested in that, so it doesn't matter. But for me, having this is way more versatile. And let's pretend that I get sidetracked and in three weeks, I'm still not in this and I just want to finish it up. You can literally just rip out the back and that's that. Um, or if you're filling this and bulking it a lot with, you know, all sorts of tippets and stuff, you can take some pages out just to create some space. So I find this to be very um, flexible. It also has the little piece in the back that I've already started putting little bits in. 
and I, I just think it's great. I would like it to be a little bit bigger, so next time, I'm, I'm gonna make my own next time. And then, um, I started this in February, but I don't know when I'm gonna finish it, so I just put the year, and then I'll add the dates, the, the month range afterwards, but yeah, loving this. The paper is not watercolor paper, but I'm finding if I work um, drier, that I'm, it's okay. It's okay, which when you're on the go is fine, right? So anyways, that's that. I hope you like it. I absolutely have fallen in love with um, sketching, sketchbooking more regularly. So you'll be seeing more of that from me.